For this next presentation, I'm going to show you how to correct an L4, L5 ERS right. Okay, so what that means is L4 inferior facet is fixed closed on L5 superior facet on the right hand side. So I'll show you a simple, simplistic technique, like a muscle energy technique, and then we can move on to a, a mobilization technique from there. Now, first of all, I'm going to place his lower leg in a straight position, and then the top leg is going to be placed in the crease of the knee, almost like a standard lumbar roll positioning from here. A little bit of flexion from below. Why? Because that initiates flexion to the lumbar spine. Because it's fixed in extension and closed, we want to try to initiate opening. Hand on the hip to stabilize. And then from here, what we do here, rather than just pull in, we're going to palpate the level of L4, but go one level above around L3, and I'm going to flex him down to the level with rotation. Try not to over-rotate him down. So you're going to rotate him down to the level of L3 just before L4, because you don't want to overlock that area. I'm going to rotate my patient's head so he's more comfortable there. Now, from this position, he's a little bit away from me. So what I suggest we do, so find L5 and L4. Okay, if you're not sure, come on to the iliac crest, we'll take you to L4. Then I'm going to bring him as if he's almost going to fall off a couch. Okay, so from there, good, like that. If you struggle with the weight of your patient bringing him in this position, you can use the knee as the lever. Okay, so you can use the knee. If you look at my thumb here, so this hand is doing, okay, so it's doing, this hand is, this thumb is feeling really. So I'm just feeling for motion at that L4, L5 segment. And I can do a simple MET from here. If you push your knee up into my hand, so the patient is pushing his knee, which is causing a rotation of the lumbar and pelvis for 10 seconds. And after the 10 seconds, relax, take a breath in. And as he breathes out, I'm going to use the knee as the lever and just mobilize that L4, L5 segment along here. Okay, so this is like a longer lever technique. If you want to do like a shorter lever technique, I can use my body weight and drop over. So now I can use both hands to feel my forearm. Be careful on pressure here. Okay, a lot of people complain of pressure around the top of the glute, piriformis, etc. So use your body weight to come through rather than using your arm. So use your body weight, okay, you can feel and using your body weight to, to drop down through. Okay, so this is a simple mobilization technique. You can if you want to do a manipulative technique where you're just going to thrust further, but I'm just going to stick with a gentle mobilizing to encourage opening of that top facet. Sometimes it might cavitate as they make a noise, but that's not the goal. The goal is simply to, to promote opening of that L4, L5 facet joint. Thank you for watching.